you guys welcome back to my bookish world i'm alex and i'm going to be doing my september tbr which you can't see the stack of books but um it's, it's pretty hefty plus a few more um yeah so i think this video is probably going to be going up a little later than normal i don't know if it's going to go up later on tuesday or it's just going to go up on wednesday but the reason behind that is that yesterday i did not have time to film um and I was going to say this for a life update, but it's happening way sooner than I thought. Um, I'm moving. Um, I We are buying a house that's about 45 minutes away from where I currently live. It's on a lake. It's very nice. Um, and we close this month on the 24th, so we are rushing to put my current house on the market. Which, by the way, this room will probably be... I don't know less personalized you'll see less stuff in it um very soon i haven't con i haven't finished taking down all my personalization stuff but yeah so that's something that's happening that i just wanted to kind of put out there i definitely haven't talked about this a lot yet even though last week i knew it was happening but we are putting the house on the market around labor day so yeah um so <laughs> along with that my TBR is stupidly long, um, considering all of that and the fact that we're going to be moving later this month, um, or beginning of October, but still, yeah. So let's just get into it because like I said, lots of books, so little time. So the first one is actually a book that I'm going to be reading for school and that is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I don't actually know what this book is about. I just know it's classic. Um, it's um, just call me, but it's for my novels into films class, and yeah, I'll be reading this this week and then watching the movie over the weekend or something, and then yeah, and then I will also probably be reading parts of Jane Eyre. I'm supposed to read Jane Eyre for this class as well, but I have already read Jane Eyre, so I will probably just be getting a copy from the library and doing a little of a refresher on the story. Okay, so now we can get into the books that are for fun, because like I said, there's a lot of them. So the first book here is one that my mom, I made my mom decide oh, to my two library books. She was like, hey mom, which one should I read first? And she picked. So the first one that I'm reading is Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren. This, I believe, is an office hate to love romance. That's really all I know about it. I have read quite a few Christina Lauren books before, although I really thought she was gonna be like one of my favorite romance authors, but I haven't really been loving their books. Um, most of them have been four or three stars, so hopefully this one is nice. I really do love the hate to love romance, so hopefully that's cool. And then I also have from the library A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmer, which is the sequel to A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Um, this came out earlier this year, and I think I read Curse and Dark and Lonely at the end of 2019, so I've been meaning to get to this. Um, it is pretty long. Um, I don't know actually how long it is. It, it's, it's over 400 pages, but I do remember this book, um, the first book being pretty fast to get through, so hopefully I will love this. Um, this one was a girl named, what's her name? What's her name? Harper. Harper. Um, has cerebral palsy, and one day she gets whisked into this world where Ren, not Ren, Gray, um, is under this curse and the only way to break the curse is to fall in love and she is a part of that story so yeah it's a beauty and the beast retelling mm -hmm. and then the next book that i should be reading i just gotta notice that my hold is ready for pickup at the library is um red white and royal blue by casey mcquiston this book everybody loves and I just have not had the time to get to and hopefully I get to it this month and hopefully I love it. I am getting it from the library in case I don't because that is like always my fear when I read really hyped book is that I'm not going to love it as much as everybody else. So I am getting it from the library but I am hoping to, hoping to read it this month. 
and then another book that i'm also planning on reading that i don't actually know when it's going to come so this might get moved to october but the last book of the white by cassandra clare um this is the sequel to the red scrolls of magic the second book in the eldest curses series i believe it follows madness and alec it takes place during like a uh, city of fallen angels during that time period and yeah by cassandra clare and wesley chu yeah um i got the fake rate hangover box so i don't really know when that's going to be shipping or when it's going to get here but i will be doing an unboxing when it does get here hopefully in the midst of moving hopefully um so hopefully i can show you guys that and hopefully i can read it this month because i would really like to and the rest that I have here are just books that I am planning on reading. So the first one is Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. This follows a black, queer, and trans main character who um, has transitioned and is dealing with some with some um, there's some dude or some person in his school and yeah in his school that is um putting his dead name out there as well as pictures of him pre-transition which is very triggering to felix um and it also is like a love triangle i've heard and a romance so i'm excited to get to it obviously trigger warnings for transphobia in here but i'm very excited to get to it i've heard nothing but amazing things and then at some point, this will probably be my last book that I read during the month. It's going to be City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I've been re-reading re the Mortal Instruments series. I just finished, finished City of Ashes like two minutes before midnight um, on the last day of August. So that's cool. Um, but I'm excited to get into this. I don't know why this one looks so tiny to me, but it's definitely almost 500 pages. It's definitely over 500 pages i don't know why i thought this book was so tiny but anyway um if you don't know what this follows this is clear about clary who finds out that she is a part of this shadow hunter world and she has to come together to defeat this guy who's very evil named valentine and there's a romance and lots of adventures so i'm very excited to get to it because this is the end of the original trilogy so yeah the next books i'm hoping i can get to and read very quickly because they're both told in verse and god you know what i just i love it when books are told in verse um so the first one is clap when you land by elizabeth acevedo this follows two girls who have the same dads but they have never met and then something happens where i think his her their dad dies in like a plane crash or something and they come together and meet and then have to uh share this grief so i'm really excited to get to it like i said i heard really amazing things in this book is absolutely stunning and i read the poet x by elizabeth acevedo already and i loved it so hopefully hopefully i will love this one just as much this one is also pulled in verse like the poet x was so yeah i'm really hoping i will love it and then the last book that i'm hoping to get to is black flamingo by dean atta this follows a black or no a mixed race gray teen growing up in London. I always get that confused. Mixed race black teen growing, mixed race gay teen growing up in London, who um, is trying to learn about himself. I don't know what this was. Um, and so he ends up meeting, he ends up going into drag to learn how to express himself. So I'm very excited. Like I said, it's also told in verse and I'm very excited. I've heard wonderful things about it. It's also stunning. I don't know if you can see the flamingos on it, but yeah, stunning. And then there's a book that I am currently reading that will probably get carried, well, it will get carried over into September. I'm not sure when I'll finish it. And that is She's Too Pretty to Burn by Wendy Hurd. This is an ER that I got from NetGalley, so thank you to the publishers um, for letting me get, for letting me read it before it comes out. This doesn't come out until I believe February 2021. Um, I will check on that date. I know it doesn't come out until 2021. I just don't remember when. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to talk about it either in my August wrap up when it comes next week, even though I'll probably, I'll 
finish it in September or it'll come in like a September wrap up. Who knows? Also, I was going to do a book haul because I bought some books, um, but then I had to pack most of them up. So a book haul will be coming sometime this year. Not sure when because I have to unpack all my crap um, and find the books. So yeah, um, it's gonna be an adventure, but I'm really hoping that when I do move into this new house and I get things set up, I can do a bookshelf tour, a room tour, maybe even a house tour, who knows? Not that you really need to see my full house, but yeah. I'm really excited about the move. I'm really excited to live on a lake. Um, and yeah, and I'm going to still be very, very close to my friends and my family and school and work and all those great things. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow all my social media down below. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, as well as my book sloth. And don't forget to use my code MyBookishWorld for 20% off your order at ClassyWomenCollection.com. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.